share with you something that God laid on my heart. It was just something he actually dropped in my spirit just a couple days ago when I was praying. And, um, and I just felt like he said they need to hear this. And um, I was just praying. I was having a, a, just a great time in my, in my closet with the door shut. And I just saw, I saw this hand. And this hand was putting gifts into a bag. It reminded me of Santa in his bag. And this bag was huge. It was all um, thick and velvety and, you know, much like you see a Christmas bag, it was overstuffed. And, but these gifts were not like anything I would give my children. These gifts were the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. Like any sunken treasure that you've ever seen on TV did not compare. Uh, these things were like gold and, and, and jewels that I had never seen before. It reminded me of the descriptions that you would hear of heaven. And then I realized that this hand, this was God. And he was putting these gifts, and it wasn't just a bag, it was me. And what he wants you to hear today is it's also you. And he said, my child, these are gifts that I give to you. Aren't they beautiful? Don't they just shine? Aren't they radiant? And they were beyond description. I mean, so beautiful that like it, it brought emotion inside of me. And then he pulled one out and he's like, daughter, look at this. Look at this gift. This gift, it used to be called rejection. I saw what they said. I saw what they did, but most of all, I saw what you thought of yourself. The things that I had entrusted to you and that you looked at them and you rejected them. He said, but I no longer call this rejection. Now, simply and purely, I call this love. But it's not just any love, like I love tacos or I love pizza, but it's my love. The love that propelled me to the cross for you. And I gift it to you. And I put it inside. And then he pulled out another one. And he said, my sweet girl, this one was once called failure. Yeah, mistakes were made, miscalculations. But all along, all of those failures, all of those weaknesses, they were always taking you toward my purpose. And my purpose still remains. My purpose is still very important for you and still very valuable. And I fill you up with my purpose. And then he pulled out another one. And he said, you see this one? This was loss. And it hurt. And I was there and I ached too. But now it's new life. And isn't it the most precious thing you've ever seen? So sweet so beautiful and I place it inside you and then he pulled out this one it was just so attractive and he said this one right here it radiates and people are drawn to it and this is joy but it's not just any joy because this joy was one sadness and during the dark night of your soul when you didn't think you would see the light of day I was there and I was your light and now it's joy it's a joy that the world didn't give and the world cannot take away and I give it to you and then he, the last one that he pulled out he pulled it out and he said this one this one right here this is proof that you walk so near me so near me that you feel my heartbeat because this one is betrayal. This one is disappointment. This is the one that made you feel lonely. And he says, I've been there. This one, this is testimony to the fact that you are my co-laborer because now what I call it is redemption. And not only do I redeem you, but I also redeem the one that hurts you. And so in this one, you walk like me, you love like me, you forgive like me. In this one, it is so evident you are my daughter. And I place it inside you. I don't know what your words are today. 
I don't know what the world has spoken over you, what has happened, what they've said, what you have said of yourself. But God has a better word. He has a better word, and he wants to fill you up with it. And Father God, we just simply come today. We show up. We want to feast on what you have for us. We want to lean on you, and we want that higher perspective sitting beside you. Oh, Lord, now, as we do that, we ask that you do what only you can do in those moments, that you would fill us up. Because we know there is nothing else that would satisfy. There is nothing else 